Hi everyone. Morning. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm going to have a quick look at the chat and just to see who we've got here. Um, please say hi and tell us what the weather's like because we've actually got rain for the first time for a long time here in Norwich. Um, so yeah, just uh, post in the chat, tell us where you're from um, and we'll, we'll get going. Okay, great. So thank you very, very much for tuning in again. And we're in for the long term now. We're starting the second wave in the UK, and I'm sure it's the same. In lots of I know it's the same in lots of European countries. We're going to keep these Wednesday mornings going for the foreseeable future. We've got some ideas next month to put in some new features and things like that. Um, but we're going to go through a whole year cycle, and we're going to take you through the whole winter. Look after you. Look after ourselves. Um, give you lots of hints about keeping well the shatsu way. Okay, so let's. Uh, Let's start off. Last week, um, we did quite a lot of breathing, connecting to heaven and earth and things like that. We didn't mention the different zones, but we did have a significant change in the burners you wanted to work in. And I think that's something to do with emotions and the fatigue around the second wave. So we're going to work on that today. Um, so let's uh, put up the slides. Dinah's here, by the way. Do you want to say hi, Dinah? Hi, everyone. I'm going to disappear now, but I'll be on the chat. Diana will be on the chat to ask any answer any questions and look after you all through this uh, this session. Okay, so I'll just load up the slides, um, and of course it's the your regular Wednesday um, meeting of the at the Shatsa Center, and we're going to <clears throat> we're going to do some work on the burners, and also I want to find out which which zone you're in uh, this week. So first of all, let's find out how you are. Just want to find out how you're coping uh, as a group. So can you just let us know? whether you're coping well, whether you're okay, neutral, or you're feeling a little bit stressed or very stressed. And that will give us an idea of how to change the class for you, okay, to modify it for you. Um, I really look forward to these Wednesdays. It's a really great chance for all of us to kind of tune in just once a week and kind of regulate our own, um, our own uh, energy levels, okay? And you can see there, look, that because I think because of the second wave, we've got a bit of an increase in people feeling a bit stressed now. Um, and uh, we need to work on that. Okay, so let's find out. Um, the next thing I'd like to find out is, um, we've done that, is to find out which zone you're in, because this week, we did heaven and earth breathing last week. This week, I'd like to reinforce the way that we can regulate our nervous system using the breath. Um, so just look at this chart. Uh, you've probably seen it before if you've been to these classes before. This is how the nervous system works. Ideally, this is why COVID is such a challenge for us because uh, we are designed as mammals to be socially engaged um, and that gives us a feeling of safety and being in the present. And that's kind of really a tricky thing to do uh, with lockdown and with second waves and everything. Ideally, we want to be in the green zone for most of the time. That's where we feel that we're in the present, we're grounded, and we've got that kind of compassionate feeling um, in, our, in our whole energy, okay? Now, naturally what happens when we get stressed, and this is a survival mechanism, is we'll go into the what's called the sympathetic nervous system zone that either allows us to fight, you know, or run away. So it'll either make us run away back into our houses or it'll make us go out there and um, uh, try and fix things, try and shop or whatever we need to do. OK, and that's quite a natural thing. What we really don't want to try and avoid as mammals, though, that, that's OK as long as we can get back into that green zone. What can happen, though? particularly, and this is what concerns us at the moment with prolonged stress, is that that red zone can kind of get tired, you get adrenally tired, and then your body goes into the third line of defense, which is the freeze zone. And that's when we start to shut down, we feel numb, we kind of feel depressed, uh, we don't have any impetus to do things. And we really want, make, really want to make sure that we keep out of that blue zone and get back down, deactivate down through the red and the green zones. So I just want you to just tune into your energy for a moment, just reflect on how you are, okay? And I'm gonna put the poll up and just find out as a group, um, which zone uh, you think you're in um, today, okay? Or in this last week, okay? So if you're mainly the green zone, the red zone, the blue zone, but then you may be in a mixture between the green and red, so you're going in between the green and red, or you might be going, staying in the red, so you're fairly switched on all the time, maybe a little bit hypervigilant, and then occasionally you kind of get feeling of a bit of depression and a bit of sluggishness, okay? Okay, 
So there we go. Look, just as I thought last week when I, I was asking you about uh, the burners, um, we've got more of you creeping into that green and red, um, green and in the red zone. And then we've got um, significantly more of you touching that blue zone. OK, so we're going to work on that today. Um, I'm going to show you how you can use the uh, particularly the breath to regulate your nervous system. OK, cool. OK, so now it's time to tune in to our burners. OK, so I'm going to just get you to um, tune in and I'm going to talk you through each of the burners. Uh, we've done that. We've done that. We've done this and we're doing this. OK, so I'd like you to just get a, um, a piece of paper and divide it up into three zones, okay, and then okay, once you've got those three zones on your piece of paper, and get your pen or pencil ready, because we want to make sure we can track those zones, and I'm going to show you how they relate to those different green uh, red and blue zones so we can really regulate our own nervous system okay so cool let's uh, just tune in right so first of all just like to close your eyes and we're going to turn our attention internally okay just relaxing I'm going to focus on the lower burner which is below your navel round into your um, lower back I'm just I haven't done it before, it's this area here. Tuning in internally, just to get a sense of what that area is like. Okay, and then once you get a feel for that, you can open your eyes and you can draw in, just like I'm doing, drawing in my lower burner, what it feels like. And you tune into it okay so now we're going to go up the middle burner and just to remind you that's from the navel it's this whole area here around the diaphragm it goes into the lower thoracic okay so it's all this area here um, it, in, it includes the liver and the stomach organs okay and also the diaphragm very significant at the lower part of the lungs so we're just going to close our eyes and tune into that middle burner area Okay, and we ask ourselves, what is it like? Okay, and we're going to draw that in the middle burner area. Okay, and if you've been Many of you have been on these classes for since the beginning of lockdown. So you've got a pretty good track record of now what's happening with your burners. And that's a really good thing just once a week, just to tune in and see how you're doing. I know I look forward to it myself. OK, and finally, the upper burner, that's the whole lung area, encompasses the heart, pericardium and the actual lungs. It goes all the way through and includes the whole of the upper back. OK, so let's close our eyes. You tune into the upper burner. Okay, so what's that like? We're going to draw that in the top box here, the top box. So, okay, so just to remind you. According to Chinese medicine, <laughs> the lower burner should feel nice and calm, quite solid, strong. Okay. The middle burner should mainly feel very relaxed and open and kind of uh, yeah, flexible. Okay. And the upper burner, they say, is like a mist, so you don't want any constriction there, you don't want any heat. You want it nice and cool and kind of expansive. Okay. So have a look at your drawings and see how you uh, match the ideal state and if you're anything like me, you've got plenty to work on. <laughs> um, and now we're going to pick the burner you'd most like to work on. I'm going to run the poll for that. OK, so just have a look. 
think about the ideal state that you'd like your uh, that your burner should be in and figure out which one you'd like to work and we'll see whether this tendency has continued from last week um, there's various reasons why that's happening um, and we can uh, can work on that okay look at this last week we had a very big uh, majority for the upper burner and that's definitely changed now we've gone back and we've got a much bigger majority for the middle and lower burners okay now that's very very important when it comes to regulating the uh, nervous system so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the exercises and i'll show you how you can use the breathing to regulate your um, nervous system and to prevent you going into that blue zone so what we'll do is we'll do some work on the lower burner and then we'll work um, mainly on the middle burner this week <coughs> and then finish off with the upper burner. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so remember um, what we did last week? We did quite a lot of heaven and earth breathing and we were just working out how to um, connect, get, get that nice feeling of balance between the heaven and earth. And we did a lot of work on the upper burner and I, hopefully that's what, as a group, has enabled you to kind of get that sorted out and that gives us time to work on the middle lower burners. Okay, so here we go. Let's just review what we did last week. Standing, all right? So you want your feet shoulder width apart. Let's take a moment just to see how we're feeling between heaven and earth. Remember last week? I want to get a nice balance between feeling heavy on the ground and our head floating up. Okay. So just tune into how you're feeling. Are you feeling like this, really heavy down like this? Or are you feeling like you're floating up and you're not grounded? Okay, and we want to try and get somewhere in the middle. So let's use this breathing exercise from Tai Chi to just establish that heaven and earth connection. Okay, it looks like this. Okay, we're just going to keep repeating it and connect with the heaven and earth. Okay. Shoulder width apart, head suspended from above, egg underneath your armpit, relax your hips and tuck your sacrum in slightly to keep your spine nice and straight. Just going to check everything is okay. Yep, fine. Right, okay, so yeah, just tucking that in and we're going to breathe in and breathe out. Okay, so now let's keep doing that. We're going to open up kidney one. That's the point on the sole of your foot, the bubbling spring point. And we're going to focus our energy down into the earth, breathing in. And we're going to push up from the earth. So we've got a nice feeling of solidity in our body opening, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Very good, okay, got that solid feeling. Okay, that's connecting with the yin and you want that to be nice and calming, okay? Okay, now, using our breath, let's try and chill ourselves out of the red zone. If you're in the red zone, you wanna go down into the, more into the green zone, you need to emphasize the out breath. So let's just do that for a bit and we'll just get a feeling for what it's like, okay? So breathing in, okay, and slow, strong out breath. Okay, breathing in. Very good, okay, now can you feel the way that kind of just calms the whole system down, doesn't it? Okay, breathing in, breathing out. So we're connecting with the earth, relaxing, breathing in. Emphasize the out breath and elongate the out breath. Okay, let's just do a couple more. Okay, so this week, everyone, if you start to feel yourself uncomfortably in that red zone, just take a minute out 
and just do this exercise, okay? And you'll start to bring yourself back down to that green zone, okay? Now, if you get into the blue zone though, you don't wanna do that because what that will do is that will just keep you there, okay? Because what it's doing is it's basically calming stuff down and what you need to do is activate yourself. So let's just get a taste of that, okay? This time we're gonna connect with heaven's energy. We're linking Chinese medicine here with the nervous system because this is the yang connection, it's the activity connection, okay? Now just see what happens to your energy when we do exactly the same exercise, but we change the breathing, okay? We just do it for a little while, everyone can experience it, and then it'll be a tool that you can use, all right? So just breathing again. Okay, so now connecting with the heavens, we're gonna emphasize the in-breath, long in-breath, and then de-emphasize the out-breath. Okay, breathing in. Okay, breathing in. Okay, get the idea, keep going. Okay, now can you feel how you feel lighter now and you feel a little bit more energized? Okay, so here we go. So we're emphasizing the in-breath. You feel how it's kind of warming you up, making you more active. Now, if you find yourself creeping into the blue zone, you need to do that kind of activity of breathing. If you emphasize the out breath and you think I'm gonna chill out more, relax more, it's just gonna keep you in that blue zone. That's the way the nervous system works. Okay, so this week, what your homework is, is to watch out for when you go into the red zone. And if you touch into that blue zone, use the breathing. Okay, so just to review, to get you from the red zone into the green zone, you need to chill out, okay? You need to relax the sympathetic nervous system. So it's breathing in and breathing out. Down from the red zone into the green zone, okay? Breathing in, breathing out, okay? But if you get into that blue zone, you're touching the blue zone, you're feeling a bit depressed and you can't move, then you want to, Okay, and if you're nicely in the green zone, you want to stay there, you balance the breathing out. So let's just do some balanced breathing, breathing in. Okay, so if your breathing is evenly balanced between the in-breath and the out-breath, you'll just balance, you'll just keep the nervous system where it is. It'll just regulate it exactly where it is, okay? So if you're doing the relaxing breathing and you feel a little bit too chilled out, balance it out. If you go from the uh, blue zone into the red zone, you feel a bit hyper, balance it out. Okay, excellent. Okay, so that's what we can do this week. And we're gonna need it, people, because the whole second wave, stress levels are rising. We've seen that in the polls. So let's keep on top of our nervous system and live the best life we can uh, in the conditions. <laughs> okay, so let's work on the lower burner. Okay, the lower burners work linked to the adrenal system. Now that's linked to the sympathetic nervous system and that's gonna become active as soon as you start feeling a threat. So we wanna stabilize this whole area. It links embryologically with the adrenal glands and we can work on it using this technique that we've done before, rubbing our hands together. It's probably the single most important qigong exercise of all time is to bring your attention down into the dantian, okay? And we do it by placing a palm underneath the navel, one hand here, okay? and we can breathe into that area. Let's try that first of all, okay? Okay, so here's some work just for you. If you're in the blue zone, I want you to emphasize the in-breath. If you're in the red zone, emphasize the out-breath. And if you feel pretty chill, then bounce it out, okay? So here we go. Breathing in. And I bring the breath right into here, connecting with the earth, okay? Breathing out. And I'm sinking the breath down into the lower burner here, okay? Breathing in. Breathing out. Very good, okay? Can you feel that connection now with the legs and the earth? Breathing in. 
You should feel this hand being pushed out slightly as you breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Okay, and breathe out. Okay, regulating your nervous system with the breath as we go. Right, okay, good. So now let's get some chi going into this lower burner. We need that because it's the root of all the other uh, systems in the body, okay? And what I'm doing, I'll give you a close up here, is I'm doing very small circles, very little pressure, I'm just using very light pressure, and I'm getting my hands activated with the chi here, okay? So I'm rubbing it round and round. There we go. Okay, now can you get that heat from your hands right through into your lower back? That's the, that's the, uh, that's the challenge for this exercise. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. Keep that egg underneath your armpit. Keep your alignment. Keep that head floating up and your feet connected to the earth. Okay, now keep that going and we're going to combine that with the lower abdominal breathing. So breathing in. Breathe out and sink the breath down into the pelvic floor. So it's filling up this whole area here in your imagination. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, don't forget to regulate your nervous system. Don't forget those blue people. You want to emphasize the in-breath and de-emphasize the out-breath. If you're in the red zone, emphasize the exhalation. Yeah, and you'll feel that breath affecting the whole, whole of your body energy. Okay, excellent. Okay, now keep going. If you've got flexibility in your arms and you, you doesn't, it's not uncomfortable to do this, you can activate these points on the back. We've got the kidney U point here, very important point. Um, and now I'm imagining heat going this way into the dantian. Okay, just give a bit of a close up. That's it. Okay, well, and if you've got stiffness in your shoulder, just keep doing this and keep zapping that heat through into your lower back. Excellent. Okay, very good. Okay, what about that? Okay, now if you just relax now, tune into your lower burner, it should feel nice and active and kind of a stable kind of feeling all round, and that's really important for um, stabilizing the whole lower burner. Now we can do some doughing to even give it a bit more energy, and that's using the kidney channel, which runs from that bubbling spring point, it runs up the inside back of the legs, and it goes into this area here. So why don't we do that? That would be a great idea, just to give it a bit of a boost. So we'll go three times. Um, we're working, I'll just show you, we're working from, the, from here up, the back of the legs and up into the uh, right up into the into the pelvic area and then into the lower burner. Okay, so we're going to start tapping just behind the ankles if you can reach there. Okay, you can always do the sitting in a chair if it's too much for you. You're just tapping behind the ankles. There's a very important point there, the kidney three point. That's the source point of the kidney channel. Okay, and we go up inside back of the leg okay so I'm right in the inside back of the leg if I bring my feet around like this it's right along the back inside of the calf I'm just tapping and what I'm doing is I'm right inside the leg here right inside inside here the inside back of the leg okay you can go back down here again Kidney three, the source point of the kidney channel. And this is where the energy is supposed to come from the soles of the foot up into the lower burner. So we want to get that nice and energized. I think I've done it four times, haven't I? Anyways, not to worry. <laughs> okay, so there we are. Okay, let me just brush that off. Okay, now the pair of the channel, pair of that kidney channel, is the bladder channel down the back of the legs. It goes from the sacrum and the lower back. It goes down this way, down the back of the legs. 
And this is the yang channel, the one that connects with the lower back this way. Okay, so we're going to give it a double, a double whammy. We're giving it the yin channel, which is here. We've done that three times, and now we're going to go down the yang channel. And this is more used for back pain. So if you've got lower back pain, sacrum, a lot of these points, particularly ones around the knees and around the ankles, are used for treating lower back because there are a lot of connections, connective tissue connections between the uh, back of the legs and the lower back. Okay. Okay, very good. So let's see what that feels like now. Okay, you're shaking the legs out a bit, a bit. How does that feel? Pretty good, right? We've got a nice feeling of energizing here and also legs feel kind of tingly all the way down. So the last thing we can do just to get that lower burner really charged up is to do some work on our feet, isn't it? Okay, so let's do that. I'll just bring the camera up. Down. There we go. So you can do this sitting in a chair or, um, uh, yeah, if you can reach your feet, then you can do it. I'll take my socks off so you can see. Okay, so we have kidney one. Remember that point? It's one third of the distance down the midline of the foot. So if I draw a midline down my foot here, divide it into three, that's the bubbling spring point. Okay, now we want to give that a really good stimul stimulation. And I'd recommend just tapping it here. The... With hand, like this okay, and it, what happens then is it goes up through the instep and it goes behind the ankle. That's the kidney three point. Okay, so let's just give that a good stimulation there. Assuming you can reach your foot, if not, you can bang your feet on the floor. That's why I do something like this. <laughs> Okay, and then we can open up kidney one, placing our fingertip right in kidney one like that and stretch the feet open like this. It's a great thing to do. Very good. Okay, and let's do some connecting some points. How about this a bit more internal stuff? We've got kidney three, which is halfway between your ankle and your Achilles tendon. So it's just in this uh, indentation here. And we've got kidney one. So if you can reach those two points and press them, and if you can feel or imagine a feeling of connection between them, then you'll be activating the kidney channel. And if you're able to, and you really relax, you may even be able to get a sensation up the leg through the kidney channel that we just worked on with the dough in. Okay, so that's the beginning of the kidney channel, kidney one and kidney three. Okay, so that's some really good points there to work on yourself. Kidney one being one of the most famous acupuncture points of all time. It's used in Qigong all the time for that grounding um, feeling. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Oh, that feels so, so good. And we can just Tap the foot on the floor like this, just to loosen up the ankle. And you can do the other foot. Okay. So we do the same routine on the other foot. I'll just come around so you can see what you're doing. Okay, halfway, uh, the halfway line down the foot. And one third of the distance, okay. From, the t uh, from here to the heel, so it's one third of that midline, that's the kidney one point, okay? So we can stimulate that again with using the um, loose fist. Okay, open up kidney one, pushing the fingers right in the kidney point. Wow, that feels great. And opening the whole foot up like this. Great antidote to modern life. We spend so much time looking at screens and um, worrying about stuff in our head. The more work we can do on our feet, and especially opening up this point, 
the better because it gives us so much better quality of life because it gives us gets us in touch with the earth the slower rhythms of things okay so this point is used for all kinds of things um particularly anything anything that's overactive in the head <laughs> i can tell you a story about it another week about that point um one of my favorite stories i'll tell you about that another week but basically it's used for any kind of agitation in the head um, and uh, that we've got plenty of that at the moment. So I would recommend spending some time opening up kidney one, opening up the foot, doing all this stuff with time very well spent, connecting, okay, can we connect kidney one? Any way that's comfortable with kidney three. Can you feel that connection? Imagine the connection between those two points, just behind the ankle and right in the kidney one point. And if you want to do some acupressure, you can just join those two points together, join the dots up. And then if you connect them, you might be able to feel the sensation up your leg and that's the channel opening up. Very good. Okay, here we go. Okay, excellent stuff. Right, so let's check in and see how our lower burner is now. I think it feels pretty awesome, don't you? So let's just try and see. Oh, those feet, what a relief. Okay, oh, how are your feet doing? I must say, I feel, they feel amazing. Okay, so now what is it like to stand on the earth now? Let's see, okay. This feels pretty good, doesn't it? Pretty solid um you've got a nice connection there between the feet and the earth and it's so easy now isn't it to connect down into the earth look you just stand there think down your legs and you'll get this feeling of the because we've opened up kidney bone we've got that nice solid feeling there legs feel activated and this area feels so much more relaxed and connected to the earth and that's so important because it regulates directly the adrenal system it gives us a feeling of connection with the earth, which is what we really need when things start getting a bit... Oh. <laughs> okay, so there we are. You've got two things you can do. Use the breathing to regulate the nervous system. And if everything gets too much, just spend five minutes bashing kidney one with your fist and all will be well. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the lower burner secure. Okay, now this is the burner of the week, everyone. The middle burner. Now, why is that so active now? Last week, everything was kind of going a bit wonky and we were very much upper burner. That's related to kind of shock, stuff like that. Shock, it's also related to letting go, the lungs, sadness, things like that. We worked a lot on that last week. Now, the middle burner is more to do with frustration. It's to do with anger, frustration or worry and anxiety. That's the stomach and the liver. Okay, and that's what's happening to us now. We're getting this feeling of obstruction in this area okay which is a natural thing by the way okay but it's good to keep it free so we've got our favorite exercises for that we've got our swinging exercise releasing the diaphragm okay we're going to do it really slowly and i'm going to get you to regulate your nervous system at the same time this week okay so if you're in that red zone okay um what i'd like you to do is turn this is to start the turning. We're going to keep the breathing nice and easy, but I'd like you to direct the breathing into the middle burner. And if you're in the red zone or moving into the red zone, I'd like you to join with me in exhaling strongly, emphasizing the exhalation. As you exhale, Direct your attention to the middle burner and see if you can get it to release. So now I'm breathing into this area, becoming aware of my diaphragm, okay? And I'm strongly breathing out and releasing. Okay, now keep doing that if you're in the red zone person, just keep that going. If you're a blue zone, you're feeling a little bit low and depressed and everything's really stagnant here and it's all kind of depressing, you don't really want to emphasize the exhalation. You want to 
emphasize the inhalation and it will be something like this. Okay, so blue zone people, just try that for the next few minutes and you'll feel this start to energize and move, okay? Now, if you're in the middle, if you're basically in the green zone, you want to regulate the breathing um, evenly between the in-breath and out-breath, okay? But what we do need to do is we need to create movement because a lot of you, the majority of you, are having issues with a middle burn this week and we need to keep this as free as we can, okay? And this twisting exercise is the go-to exercise for that, okay? Now, if you're feeling really blocked and you want to really move it, you can do it quite vigorously. Twist the body right around like this. Okay, and combine it with breathing pattern that you need to do. You see what I'm doing? I'm tapping the sides of my body, which is actually where the liver and the gallbladder channels run, as I go around. Okay, so don't forget, red zone emphasise the exhalation, blue zone emphasise the inhalation, and if you're in the green zone, just keep it even, okay, but keep, release and keep that middle burner as flexible as you can. Okay, keep going, keep going, maybe a little bit stronger. Okay, keep that alignment, keep that head floating up and keep your feet nice and solid on the floor. Get that kidney one open. That's it. Okay, excellent. A little bit more. Okay, really let go. Just let go. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Okay, we'll come back to the front the beginning. Okay, now have a feel around here now, and you'll if it's anything like me, you'll feel this much more open already around here, around the diaphragm area. Okay, and that's super good. Okay. But we need more work and we're going to do it with the channels. Okay, and the channels run down the front and the sides of the body. So let's just check out what's going on. We've got the liver and the stomach. Okay, so the stomach is more on this side. Okay, more on your left side. And um, the liver is more on the right side. So it's right kind of around over around here. Okay. So basically the stomach channel and spleen channels run on the front of the body that relate to the spleen pancreas and the liver channels run on the side of the body. So let's have a little uh, session on the, on the channels and I'll give you real close up so you can see exactly what we're doing. Okay. So basically the, we're going to work on the liver channel and gallbladder channel first. It goes right down the side of the body and it goes up the inside of the leg like this, inside middle of the leg just behind this adductor muscle here, okay? Now we want to link it with the middle burner. So what we're going to do is we're going to just tap around here, just lightly tapping to energize the middle burner. And then we're going to go onto the sides of the body. Okay. And then we're going to go down here, and then we go into, right into this into the buttocks here. There's a point that's used for sciatica, it's a gallbladder point right in here, it often gets tight. And then we're going to go down outside of the legs, right down the absolute outside of the legs, like where the seam of the trousers would be, if you're wearing jeans, where the seam would be. Okay, onto the feet, and then up the inside of the legs. When you get to the knee, you'll feel a big adductor muscle here. You go behind that as high as you can. Okay, and that links directly internally up into the middle burner. And then go down again. Down the outside of the legs. Up the inside. Very good. Okay, so that's the liver and the gallbladder channel. Let's just check out your abdomen again, just pressing around here. 
Notice any different left and right? Very good. Okay, so now I'm going to go down the stomach and spleen channel. So let's do this chewing exercise for the digestive system first of all. This is if you get any worry or anxiety that goes into your stomach, either like a cramping feeling in the stomach or you can sometimes get diarrhea, stress diarrhea, that kind of thing. Um, and that's a pretty common reaction. Again, it's a nervous system reaction uh, to threat and feeling not feeling safe. So let's make our tummy feel safe. <laughs> and that will feed back into our brain and give us a much more of a feeling of being calm and chilled out. Okay, so we're gonna um, rub our hands together. And this time we're placing our hands right in the middle around the belly button, okay? And we're doing a larger circle. This is actually over the small intestine organ, by the way, if you're interested in the anatomy, okay? Um, and the small intestine is to do with absorbing the food. So we're just going to give that a bit of a mass right. I'm just putting a little bit, a little bit more pressure on than I did for the lower burner one, um, just to provide a bit of um, physical um, uh, stimulation of the small intestine organ. Okay. All right, and then we're going to make it bigger. We're going round the intestines, so we're going round this way. This is the way that the intestines, um, the way the intestines work with the ascending and descending colon. And then also when we get to the top here, we're massaging the liver and the stomach. So we're massaging all those organs as we go around. Okay. okay so if you've got any tummy cramps or um, maybe stress diarrhea, maybe in the last week, and that's how your middle burn is being affected rather than being frustrated, um, then this is a really great exercise that you can do um, just to keep it all nice and relaxed. Okay, keep that, those arms relaxed, keep the feet connected to the earth, and keep yourself aligned. That's it. That feels really good, doesn't it? Keep that nice and relaxed. Excellent. Okay, so the channels that are related to this whole digestive system thing is the stomach channel, and that's another yang channel. It runs on the outside of the body, and it runs, it starts here. It's not on the front of the front. It's just on this edge here of this quadriceps muscle, okay? And so we're going to follow that all the way down, and then we're going to come back up the inside front of the legs, and get that you'll feel a connection with this whole digestive area, okay? So you can use uh, tapping or cupping, flat of the hands, whatever feels right for you. We're going to go down the outside front of the legs, okay, over the knee, onto the famous three mile point, just in case you're feeling a bit tired, you need a bit of a boost. That's just here on the outside of the shin, underneath the knee. And we go down to the ankles and then up inside of the leg. Okay, up the inside front of the leg. All right, good. All right, so here we go, down, outside, front of the leg. This is the stomach channel, stomach 36. Side. Just give it a bit of a close up. That's it. Okay, and then up the spleen. Stick one more time for luck, shall we? Down the outside. Up the inside. Okay, and then just brushing off the front of the legs. Okay, right, so now let's just see if we can feel the connection here. If you do this exercise again, or if we do this exercise again together, relax your legs and feel the connection between the digestive system and the front of your legs. Okay, that's the stomach and spleen channels. And they, again, embryologically, there's um, uh, facial planes that connect those channels into the digestive system. Okay, so we can get that chilled out, nice, relaxed, tummy feeling by working the legs. 
Okay, excellent. Okay, we're really getting there now. Look, if we just stand, see how comfortable it is to stand now. We've got a nice solid lower burner. This is nice and open now, much more open than before and kind of relaxed. Okay, so we're nearly there. All we need to do is a little bit of work on the yang channels and a little bit of work on the upper burner. Okay, the upper burner is related to the lungs and the heart and as it's autumn, it's a good idea to work on the lungs because that part of the um, metal element that's related to the lungs in Chinese medicine. Okay, so let's do some uh, arm swinging exercises and don't forget your breathing, okay? Because obviously the lungs are really affected by the breathing and we can use this to regulate our nervous system. So we're gonna do this in slow motion this week and I want you to use your breath to get you into the right zone, okay? So if you're nicely in the green zone, we're gonna do even breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Okay, now if you find yourself in the red zone, if you've been in the red zone recently and you put red zone or green and red in the pole, then let's chill out even more. Let's emphasize that exhalation. So it's breathing in. All the way back until you can feel this area opening. Breathing in. Okay, see what it means? It has a calming effect on the whole body. Keep those thumbs out. Open up the front of your chest here. Open up a uh, long one. Okay, now for the blue zone people, or the red blue zone, you may want to do this. You may want to do this. Okay, and you may just want to experiment with this, everyone. Can you feel how that's starting to rev everything up and it's getting you out of that stagnant feeling? Okay, and then back the other way with the exhalation. That's regulating the nervous system down, okay? So you can apply this breathing to any of these exercises depending on which burner it is that you need particularly to work on, okay? If it's nice to be nicely in the middle, then you wanna do it fairly evenly. Keep those thumbs out. Okay, very good. One more stretch for the uh, upper burner. One of our favorites is this pericardium stretch. So we, let's do this a few times. Again, you can regulate the breathing with this, very important. Okay, so you can either go. Emphasize the exhalation to take you out of the red zone there. Okay, or okay, or balanced. Okay, so just let's do it a few times and you put the breathing in that you feel you need either balanced or emphasizing the exhalation to regulate you out of the red zone or inhalation if you need to be shaken up out of that kind of depressed uh, state of the blue zone, okay? So you can apply that breathing to anything you're doing. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, so we've only got 10 minutes left. We need to do some work on the yang channels. And the reason for that is because these are the external cha channels that we need to keep clear to keep everything working um, in the head and everything. Okay, uh, and 
that's why, you know, shoulder pain and stiffness and neck stiffness are common because these channels be working. So let's just spend five minutes uh, making sure that we clear all that out and we get the yang channels uh, sorted out. Okay, just a little bit of revision of Chinese medicine. If you go like this, all the channels you can see are the yin channels. They connect internally with the internal organs. And if I go like this, all the channels you can see there are the yang channels. And they connect more with the external parts of the body, and they're used mainly for treating musculoskeletal things, whereas we use the yin channels to regulate the internal organs and the emotions. Okay, so let's work the yang channels of the head. And we're going to just do a little bit of tapping here on the forehead. Okay. I've noticed quite a lot of clients coming in this week, the ones that have been coming in face to face. I've noticed a lot of them are getting neck and um, shoulder issues, again, because it's a fa favorite place that stress can collect. So we want to do something about that. Okay, tapping over the top of the head. Well, this is the gallbladder channel here. This is the bladder channel on its journey all the way down the back down to the feet. It's the longest channel in the body. And then going slightly out to the side, we've got a gallbladder channel. Remember that one? That was the one we did down the sides of the legs that we used for the middle burner. It goes all the way up into the head. And it actually connects with the eyes. So we can work the eyes. I'm just gently pressing into my eyeballs here, relaxing my eyes. Okay, and then pressing the temples. This is another gallbladder um, area. Yeah, okay, so I'm following it down, linking my fingertips together and squeezing the neck here. So we're working these channels here, the sides and the back of the head. Yeah. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, so continuing down the face, we've got some points here. This is large intestine point. It's used for breathing problems, hay fever, things like that. And then there's some stomach points. Wow, that's, that's a long way from the legs, isn't it? Yep, that's another long channel that goes all the way down the body. And here's some points. Not surprisingly, the channel runs around the mouth because it's all to do with the digestive system. So these points around here, I'm pressing here, around the teeth here and through here are all related to the stomach channel, the start of the digestive system. Okay, and we want to release our jaw. Okay, again, quite a lot of teeth grinding going on and jaw stiffness we've had the last week in the clinic here. And so we can do something to ourselves for that around here. Okay, and then pulling the ears. Okay, very good. Now, if you go down to the SCM muscle, that's this big muscle here. If I can turn my head and somehow and show you it. That's this bit here. Yeah, you can see it there, right? Um, see this big muscle here? That's the sternocleidomastoid muscle. And that's another favorite um, muscle for getting uh, jammed up. And we can massage it like this. I, what I do is I generally do is pinch it between my fingertips and my thumb like that. So my thumbs at the back, like this, my fingers at the back of it. And in actual fact, the stomach channel runs down, right down the front of that muscle there. So again, if you've got middle burner issues and you've got some, maybe some feelings in the throat and problems digesting, you might want to just make sure that this muscle here is released as much as you can. Hey, that's very good. So now we're just going to do a bit of shaking and a bit of releasing all the yang channels because the yang channels start and finish on the head. They kind of go round here, they go down the back. So let's just do a little bit of work on the shoulders, tapping the shoulders. 
and that's it. And we go down. That's it. And then it goes down the back here. Some, if you're lucky enough to have someone in your bubble who's doing this class, you can get them to just tap in between around here. The difficult bit is only just about reached, depending on how flexible you are. Only just about get there myself. Okay, so now let's do some shaking. Okay, so we're going to relax the jaw. Okay, relax our neck. And we're going to bounce on this imaginary thread and we're just going to shake any tension in the yang channels out of our body down through our hands and feet <laughs> relax your pelvis relax your hips Notice if there's anywhere where you're holding in your body, especially if it's kind of really tight, and just let it loosen up. Because what we don't want is we don't want parts of our body to freeze up. We want to keep everything moving. Okay. And if you're flexible enough to stand on one leg and shake that leg out, shake the other leg out. That's it. Okay, and we're just going to come back to centre again. And let's just tune in again to how we are. Okay, remember, this week we've been regulating our breathing. If you feel yourself going into the red zone, you want to emphasise the exhalation. Okay. If you find yourself going into the blue zone, that's more critical and you really want to get help. If you need help, try and get an appointment in here. We are seeing face-to-face -face clients. The main thing you want to do is activate your system by emphasizing the in-breath um, and make sure that you try and work on any areas of your body that feel frozen. If you're lucky enough to be in that green zone, stay there by doing these exercises and regulating your breath in and out the same. Okay, so let's just check in. Feel those feet nice and open with kidney one. Nice connection with the earth, relaxed, open feeling in the hips and the legs. Check your lower burner. It should feel nice and solid and stable. Middle burner, that's the burner of the week. Okay, should be a little bit more flexible now, a little bit more open and a bit cooler maybe than it was um, an hour ago. And the upper burner, that's where the shock and the kind of grief areas will be affected. That should feel a bit more open okay, and a bit more free. Your yang channels, that's all the way through your body, should feel much more open and loose. Okay, great. Well, I've really enjoyed this week. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. Let's just run the poll and just see how you did. Um, how do you feel now? Okay. And while you're doing that, I just want to say a massive thanks to all of our supporters that have been donating right since the beginning of lockdown. It's made a huge difference to us and it continues to do so because... We are limited to the amount of clients we can see, so we're, we're not up to, we can't get back up to capacity now. And so your donations for this class actually help us pay all our overheads and our rent and keep the whole Shiatsu Centre going and keep the cameras rolling and keep the lights on. So we really want to say thank you so much for that. It really, really has made all the difference in the world. And we're going to stay with you all the way through the winter um, with, and we're going to introduce some new things later on uh, as we go from autumn into winter. Um, but the centre of the class will be the same. It'll be tuning in, finding out where your stress levels are, finding out how we can use the breath, how we can use different knowledge from Chinese medicine to keep us all in the green zone so that we can continue to have as happy a life as possible in the situation. That's the aim. That's the challenge, isn't it, of these times. 
Okay, thank you very much. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. 100% feel more balanced. Okay, it's probably because some of you are probably lying on the floor and can't get to the mouse. It must be. Okay, I think it's the first time we've ever had 100%. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next week. Thank you, Dinah, for all the help on the chat.